Okay, so just create a new layer, name it eyes, and then I'm just gonna hide the skin tone layer for now and bring up my original photo. So again, just zoom in on the area that you wanna concentrate on. So I'll maybe just do like the right eye for now. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool from the toolbox. And what I'm gonna do is just drag out the iris now. So I'm gonna start somewhere in the center. Right, so hold down Option to draw your object from the center. Hold Shift and then drag outwards until like the width of that pupil sort, sort of lines up to the iris. Again, I'll just make the stroke weight black and just remove the fill for now. And then I'll grab my pen tool and then just come in and draw right within the opening of the eye. So where your eyelids are sort of ending. And this opening is eventually going to be the mask that we're going to apply over top of the iris. You could always smooth out the shape as well with your smooth tool. Okay. I'll just open up my layers here for you. So the ellipse that we created, that's going to be your iris. And the opening of the eye, this is going to be your mask. Okay. And I'm going to do is uh, select both of these shapes. And just go up to the object menu. Go down to clipping mask and select make. Okay? You could also right click over top of this or hit command 7. Okay? Okay? So you'll see what this does is it, it actually makes the masks like the details of it, the stroke, disappear. And also the parts of the circle and the iris that disappear as well. So if you just look to your layers, you'll see that it's thrown both of those shapes into what's like this clip group right here. So if you twirl that open, you'll see the opening of the mask and the iris. Okay? So now we can target each of these independently and fill them in with color now. So if I open up the clip group, target the mask, then what I can do is maybe just fill it in with maybe a 5% black and then target the iris and then fill that in with whatever the base color of your eye is okay? and then just remove the stroke on it. Okay? So sorry, we fill the opening with... Um... Like a 5% black, like a light gray right? or white if you get a lot of sleep, but you know, <laughs> I just put it like a light gray if you want. Okay. And those are like the basics to building out the eye, right? So now what I could do is just close my clip group again. I'll just hide it temporarily. And now what I can do is grab my ellipse tool again and just go in and now draw the pupil right? so that I could fill that with black. And then I can maybe draw like a couple of these catch lights here that are also maybe like light gray. Then I'll bring back that clip group. And that's like now I've added a bit more detail to the eye. Right. So once I open the clip group now, now that I have these are just call them catch lights. And this is your pupil. Right? We can drag these right into this clip group 
right above the iris, right? So we just select all three of these, drag them in right under that mask. And this clip group, we can name this whatever eye we're working on. So we can name this, uh, this one's my right eye. Okay. So in the right eye, I have the iris, the pupil, and the catch lights on top. The mask is essentially your eyeball, right? So that's filled with the color of the eyeball. Okay. If you wanted to go a bit further to add even more detail to the eye, what you can do is maybe add like little lines um, that are maybe in the iris. So to do that, what I do is just use like the star tool. And I would start to draw like right sort of like above the iris or it would go above the iris. So again, I'll click and drag and then just add more points to this star, so maybe something like this. And what I'll do is just fill it with maybe the same color of the iris, but this time what I want to do is get like a complementary color to it. So you can do that by going into your color guide. And you can either select like a lighter shade or darker shade of it. So what I'll do is maybe for now just make a lighter or sorry, a darker shade of it. Okay. So I have something like this. And then what I want to do is create sort of like an offset. So I'll get like dark, light, dark, light. So what I can do is copy this shape. So command C. And then command uh, let's do B for place behind. And then I'll fill it with like a lighter version of my eye color. So like a highlight color. And then I'll just kind of rotate it a bit until they sort of like stagger. Right? So basically I have two copies. One's dark brown, the other one's light brown. And then I can take these two paths and drag them right under the pupil, right? So that I get a bit more like detail in the eye like that, right? So that's just a little like trick that you can use, right? You could also add sort of like a glossy um, sort of like over shape on top of the eye, right? So to do that, since I already have sort of like the, you know, overall shape of my iris, I'm going to select it and then copy it, command C, and then command F to place in front. And let's say what I want to do is have this sort of shape like that be a highlight. I'm just gonna grab my ellipse tool. I'm just gonna drag out like another circle kind of right over top of it. Maybe something like this, like that, right? So basically what I want to happen here is this shape, I'm going to use it almost like a, like a cutter shape, right? So I'm going to use the Shape Builder tool to remove a piece from the copy that I made. So essentially I'll just keep this sort of contour around here and then I'll fill it with white and bring the opacity back. So it'll kind of look like a glossy shape over top of it, right? Right, so I'm basically taking this cutter shape and this copy, which will basically be the highlight. And I'm going to select them both. And then I'll grab my Shape Builder tool. So that's Shift plus M. I'm 
might have to do this outside the clipping group. So let me just move them outside of this right eye for now. So I think it won't let me merge them or delete them if they are inside of a mask. So just make sure just to like work on them outside of that clip group before you dump them back in. So now my shape builder tool is in the add or merge um, action. So you'll see a little plus sign here. So I can hold option to get into the deletion mode. So I'm just going to hold option and click and drag through these first two shapes. And now it just leaves me with sort of like this half moon. And then I can fill it in with white. And then I just bring down the opacity. Say maybe like 40%. Right. And now I could just dump that in right over top of maybe everything inside of the clip group. And then it gives me sort of like that effect. Right. So I can even maybe lower the opacity a bit more. It's still a bit like grayish. So maybe 25%. And then I'll just name it highlight. Right. And the final part would just be adding in like your um, eyelashes. So again, we can use the paintbrush tool and use our brushes for that. So we can still use that hairbrush that we created before. And when you do the eyelashes, instead of just drawing out like strands of it, I'll say, I'll just make the color black and just remove the fill. Right, so I'll just test it out. So it's sort of like this. All right, remember you can change like your profiles up at the top here. So if you want it to be a bit tapered, you can do something like that. They're going, yeah, they're all paths. So remember every shape that you build is a path within that layer. Right? They're not necessarily sub layers, right? So now instead of drawing like little strands like this all along the eyes, you don't want to do that, right? So what I would do is just maybe take your brush, kind of go like right along the eye. Once you get to the end of it, just kind of maybe make it sort of like taper off and add a few strands just to give it sort of like the accent of those eyelashes being there. Right, you can maybe add like a couple off the bottom there. And I can bring like the skin tone back. Right, so I'll make like these a bit thicker. Right. But that's like the base of like the eyes there. So you can add in your eyelashes, the detail in the eye. And then you can start to do like the other side, sort of like the same way, right? So make the iris first, then the opening of the eye, make them into a clipping mask. Then you can add all the details like your pupil, the catch lights. Um, you can add more detail with like the strands or lines within the eye or like a glossy shape over top. And then just finish it off with your eyelashes.